Lawrence Wright, The Looming Tower, Al-Qaeda and the Road to 9-11. Delve into the history and complexities behind the infamous World Trade Center attacks in the compelling book, The Looming Tower, Al-Qaeda and the Road to 9-11 by Lawrence Wright. The summary explores the entwined stories of three key personalities, Syed Qutb, the intellectual father of the Islamist movement, Ayman al-Zawahiri, the current al-Qaeda leader with grand visions of destruction, and Osama bin Laden, the group's founder and initial driving force. Unearth the roots of Islamic fundamentalism and the intricate journeys of these men leading up to the devastating 9-11 event, giving you a richer understanding of the context behind the act of terror that changed the world. The Genesis of Al-Qaeda The September 2001 terrorist attacks marked the climax of an extended conflict between Islam and the West. It led to the War on Terror, but how did it transpire? The formation of Al-Qaeda was the product of an exclusive meeting of three personalities. Syed Qutb, the scholar who is the current leader of the Islamist movement, Ayman al-Zawahiri, the advocate of the belief that only violence and vengeance could transform history, and Osama bin Laden, the notorious founder and leader of Al-Qaeda. Initially, Abdullah Yusuf Azam, an Al-Qaeda co-founder, wanted to use the group to regain Islamic lands from Soviet Central Asia to Bosnia, while Zawahiri envisioned introducing a vicious cycle of terrorism in Egypt. Bin Laden, on the other hand, had unique plans for Al-Qaeda. This summary provides a comprehensive analysis of how these three figures helped form Al-Qaeda, and steered it towards becoming the terrorist organization it is today. Syed Qutb's Journey to Islamic Fundamentalism The formation of the Muslim Brotherhood in 1940s Egypt, amid British occupation and King Farouk's flaunting of wealth, led to a rejection of secularism and the fight for universal Islamic rule. Syed Qutb, an influential Egyptian writer, thinker, theorist, and teacher, grew up as a nationalist but slowly shifted to Islamic fundamentalism. Cup's visit to America in 1948 saw him observe its education system before U.S. support for Zionism in the establishment of Israel led to his intense hatred of the U.S. government. Cup's Radical Views on America and Islam Cup, an Egyptian Muslim, was deeply disturbed by what he saw as America's corrupt and materialistic culture that neglected the spirit. He saw Islam as the solution to this corrupt vision of society, and as Egypt turned towards a secular political vision, Qut planted the seeds of Islamic fundamentalism, which culminated in his text milestones calling for all-out war against the non-Islamic world. He believed that even if a person was a devout Muslim, tolerating or obeying institutions that defied God was itself defying the divine. Qut's Martyrdom and Zawahiri's Ideals This summary details the influence of Syed Qut on Ayman al-Zawahiri, a key figure in the development of Al-Qaeda. Qutb's ideas, his defiance of the Nasser regime, and subsequent martyrdom inspired Zawahiri to dedicate his life to the establishment of an Islamic state that followed Sharia law. Zawahiri's background and imprisonment for his involvement in the assassination of the former Egyptian president Anwar al-Sadat are also discussed, highlighting the role of Egyptian prisons in radicalizing jihadists. Zawahiri's Reign of Terror Zawahiri's role in radical Islamism is evident in his use of suicide bombings and violent punishments. He justified these actions through suspect means and used religion to justify his attacks. Zawahiri's infamous tactics set the stage for Osama bin Laden's rise to power. Zawahiri, a key figure in the development of radical Islamism, unleashed a reign of terror against the Egyptian government, making use of suicide bombers that would become key to radical ideology. In 1995, Zawahiri justified a suicide bombing at the Egyptian embassy in Pakistan that killed 18 people, including the two bombers. He argued that the anti-Islamic policies of the Egyptian government meant all those working in the embassy deserved to die, and he held that the deaths of innocent Muslim bystanders were necessary collateral damage. Zawahiri's theological justification for suicide bombings was based on the history of Muslim martyrs who chose faith over life. However, this was not the only tool he used to further his violent, fundamentalist vision of Islam. In 1995, in Sudan, 
he convened a court of his own devising to try two teenage boys for treason, sodomy, and attempted murder. The boys were stripped naked to indicate that they had reached puberty and should be tried as adults. The court found them guilty, Zawahiri had them shot, and both their confessions and executions were videotaped and publicly distributed as a warning to other traders. This is an example of Zawahiri's insane machinations, which are of particular importance since he would go on to become the mentor of the third key figure in Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden. Zawahiri's infamous tactics set the stage for bin Laden's rise to power and influenced his beliefs and actions. The Evolution of Osama bin Laden Osama bin Laden, the notorious name synonymous with global terrorism, had a different story before he founded Al-Qaeda. Born to a wealthy Saudi family, he was a shy boy with a deep love for American TV. However, as a teenager, he became more religious and came under the influence of a Muslim Brotherhood teacher. Bin Laden met Zawahiri in Peshawar in 1988, and both joined forces to form Al-Qaeda in the service of Jihad. Despite his image as a violent terrorist, Bin Laden was not always opposed to American culture. After being exiled from Saudi Arabia, he turned to agriculture, breeding horses, growing sunflowers, and spending time with his sons. Al-Qaeda was initially more of an agricultural institution, with members working on different farming projects and playing soccer after Friday prayers. Al-Qaeda's Path to 9-11 Al-Qaeda's origins lie in several underground Islamic groups, including the Mujahideen who fought in the Soviet-Afghan War. Osama bin Laden, fueled by his anger towards American intervention in the Middle East, issued a fatwa in 1998 calling for a jihad against Jews and crusaders. The attacks on September 11 were a strategic move by him to lure America into the invasion of Afghanistan, hoping to bleed the American military until the empire collapsed. The attacks were preceded by smaller attacks on American embassies and ships. The attacks are the culmination of various socio-political, historical, and religious factors, rather than a standalone event. In The Looming Tower, Al-Qaeda and the Road to 9-11, Lawrence Wright masterfully disentangles the complicated events and influential characters leading to the tragic crescendo of the 9-11 attacks. From the birth of the radical Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt to the ideological growth of Ayman al-Zawahiri, and the transformation of Osama bin Laden, this summary opens our eyes to the historical, religious, and political factors shaping Al-Qaeda's ascent. By comprehending this intricate story, we gain valuable insights into the characters, motivations, and decisions that ultimately resulted in the unforgettable tragedy of September 11, 2001.